On a morning that seemed perfect for flying, a small crowd of airplane enthusiasts gathered to watch the only airworthy Bugatti 100P attempt its third test flight. It was just before 8.20 Saturday morning. The aircraft took off safely, but less than a minute later, witnesses say it banked suddenly left. And crashed nose first into a field just north of the Clinton Sherman Air Base. It wasn't climbing um, at, uh, at a very high rate. And, uh, and the next thing I saw was, uh, was a turn, a very sharp turn to the left and, and, um, and, and down she went. Within seconds, the wood frame craft caught fire. A chase helicopter landed quickly to render aid, but the pilot, Scotty Wilson, likely died on impact. Wreckage smoldered for the next hour as horrified family and flight crew could only watch helplessly. Well, of course, everybody's in a state of shock. It's not every day you see a friend go down like that. Um, we don't know what happened. We will try to find that out as time goes on. I want to see this okay. and this. This historic airplane, shown here in the hours before the crash, was more than seven years in the planning and construction. It was a replica of Ettor Bugatti's original design for a lightweight but very fast fighter airplane, mothballed during World War II and never manufactured. I call it uh, the most historically significant airplane that never flew. Scotty Wilson sought expert advice and funding from all over the world. The project consumed his life as both a fighter and test pilot. In March of 2014, we caught up with the new Bugatti 100P as it neared completion in Tulsa. Mount it to the rear bulkhead. They get their cameras where they want them. And Early Saturday morning, Scotty busied himself with attaching miniature cameras to his aircraft. Another camera and its operator were to follow and record the Bugatti in flight. With 11,000 hours in the cockpit, type rated in 12 different kinds of aircraft, he was the best guy in the world to build this. Crew members said later, this third test flight was to be the last. Wilson and crew planned to put it on permanent display at a museum in Great Britain. Its final resting place instead is a bean field near Burns Flat. From the Clinton Sherman Air Base, Galen Culver, News Channel 4.